Hello, everybody. Welcome to Market Musings with Watanabe. My name is Pinsa Krasta, and today we are going to discuss another fascinating trading strategy, which is uh, related to shorting at the money call option, especially when Nifty closes at its 20-day high. So whenever Nifty closes at its 20-day high, it does indicate a bullish market sentiment. And uh, investors are optimistic, prices are rising, and overall, there is a positive vibe in the market. But what if you want to take a contrarian approach and capitalize on potential reversal? So here is where shorting at the money call options comes into play. By shorting these options, you are essentially betting against a significant upward move. You believe that despite the bullish sentiment, the market might not continue to climb and at the same pace and there might be a pullback in the short term. So now let me take you to the statistics part of this. Now, do remember that these uh, stats are being shared to us by Options IQ. And to get access on real-time basis, all you have to do is subscribe to optionsiq.substack.com. So like I mentioned, the trading strategy, uh, all you have to do is short at the money, minus 100 call of Nifty to the nearest 100 strike, nearest monthly for T plus 1. So stats here says that since 2022 onwards, uh, there were around 96 trades out of which 56 were winners which is a 58% of your winning rate. The average expectation here is 23 points. And just by playing with the strategy, and if it's a winner for you, then on an average, you will win around 75 points. And if not, then you will lose around 49 points. Maximum win here is 320 points, and max loss here is 106 points. The maximum consecutive wins were five trading days in a row. The profit factor here is 1.98, which means for every $1 you lose, you could have made around $1.98. Now, looking at the current streak, you can see that four out of five trades were winners. And last trade wasn't lost though, but uh, we are hopeful that it continues its winning streak again. Now, looking at the total points versus the benchmark. So just by playing with the strategy, you would have made around 2,238 points versus the benchmark of 3,304 points, which is roughly around 68% of the benchmark. Now, in a hypothetical scenario, if you would have started with a 10 lakh rupees of capital, then you would have made a CAGR of 21% with a maximum drawdown of 6%. Now, look at the year-wise profits and points. So in the year 2022, uh, we can see that it made around 1,066 points and in the year 2023, it made around 1,172 points. Now that's uh, all about shorting Nifty, especially when Nifty closes at its 20-day high. I hope this video brings value to you and if it does, then do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content. I will see you in our next video. Bye.